the ASP.NET Web Forms View State. This video lecture will introduce you to the view state and how you can leverage view state to maintain user input on a form. Without a methodology for tracking page state, a web application by default is stateless. Most of us have experienced a page with a form that after submitting and finding out we entered something incorrectly, we have to type everything all over again. That page is not maintaining its page state, and in its page lifecycle, the page is destroyed and recreated each time. In ASP.NET Web Forms, when we use a master template, our form tag is in the master template and not in each page. When we submit that form, we aren't submitting data from one page to another page, we are submitting a page to itself. This is called a post back since the page is posting data back to itself. View state is how ASP.NET Web Forms maintains the page state between postbacks. View state is responsible for maintaining the page state, such as text input and select values across postbacks. This makes forms sticky so that field values don't disappear after submitting the form. For each of the server controls on the page, their state is encoded and sent to the server every time the page is submitted. This encoded data is stored in a hidden field with the ID underscore view state. If you view the page source for an ASP.NET Web Forms page, you can see this hidden field with the encoded data. One thing to be aware of when developing with ASP.NET Web Forms is how view state can affect performance. If you have a large amount of controls on a page, you also have a large amount of view state being stored. Does this mean you are stuck with limiting the amount of controls on your page? No. View state tracking could be turned off on entire pages or individual controls. In most cases, Disabling view state on an entire page or even a control isn't necessary because your view state won't be large enough to affect performance. However, it's good to know just in case. Let's take a look at how view state makes our form pages sticky. So here I have a page that I've set up that has a form on it. name, email, phone, city, state, typical form fields. Let's look at the code for this page. So here is my view state example .aspx page. And here you see we have some controls for text boxes. We have a literal up here that says LT postback. And we have a drop down list for our states as well as a submit button with a uh, button submit click on click event that currently doesn't do anything. Now in our page load method, we have an if else. If the page is a post back, we are outputting some text that says this I'm a post back and this form is sticky. And otherwise, if it's not a page post back and this is the first time we are visiting the page, we give some directions to fill out the form. So let's take a look at that. So here I am in the view state example. I'm going to fill out this form. And forms can take a long time to fill out sometimes. Oh, how tedious. Wouldn't it be terrible if I lost my data after submitting this form? This page says that I shouldn't worry though because my data won't get lost when I submit. We view state. Here we go. And my 
and my data didn't go anywhere. The page posted back to itself and it says, I'm a post back. This form is sticky and your input has been loaded into the view state for the page. And if I view the page source, we can see that we have a hidden input here that does indeed contain some encoded data for our view state. So if you should ever need to remove view state tracking on an entire page, there is a view state mode property that you can set for the page. You can disable or enable it or have it inherited from the parent. You can also set this on individual controls. If you don't want view state tracked for uh, your name or the email, you could simply do view state mode also. So some quick review. By default, a web application is stateless unless it has a methodology for maintaining page state. ASP.NET Web Forms uses a view state to maintain state across postbacks. This makes page forms sticky so user input is not lost. So I can submit this form over and over and over again and across the postbacks my page state is maintained. This video lecture introduced you to the view state and how you can leverage view state to maintain user input on a form. Thank you for listening.